All right, our next award uh, is uh, for Research Excellence in the Sciences. Uh, this award honors the graduate student who has made significant impacts in the field of study uh, of science and has produced outstanding research results throughout their course of study. The award of graduate student is a favorable member of the research community that exemplifies scholarly achievement and positive research collaboration. I'm pleased to announce that the recipient of this award is Rita Porgy. Science uh, Department at the University of Saskatchewan. She works under the close supervision of Dr. Julita Vasileva and Dr. Regan Mandrick. She joined the department in May 2010 after completing a master's degree from, Informat uh, from the Informatics Institute of Middle East Technical University Tur in Turkey. She holds a bachelor's degree in computer science from Nandi Aziki Way, sorry about that, a university in Nigeria. Rita has consistently demonstrated excellence in scholarly and academic achievements in her course of academic study. She graduated as one of the top students for both master's and bachelor's degree uh, with first class honors and presently as a PhD candidate maintains a GPA of 96% at the University of Saskatchewan. <laughs> Her exemplary achievements have attracted various awards to local, state, national, and international levels, including Federal Government of Nigeria Scholarship Award, Federal Government of Turkey Scholarship Award, and the University of Saskatchewan Dean Scholarship Award. Her most recent recognition uh, being the award of the prestigious Bandy Scholarship by the Canadian Government. This was the recognition of her outstanding research, leadership, and academic uh, skills. Rita was ranked among the top five out of all 167 recipients across Canada. <laughs> Rita has been interviewed and featured in various newspapers and magazines internationally and nationally as a role model. A few of these include Saskatoon Star Phoenix, a girlfriend of Chinese magazine, Industry Canada, uh, IC headline, research discovery at the University of Saskatchewan in the College of Arts and Sciences magazine, uh, the U.S. Green and White Alumni magazine, and the U.S. On Campus News. PhD research focuses on the design and evaluation of technological interventions, promoting health, healthy lifestyle. She employs user-centered design approaches whereby the system is grounded in behavior theories, observational data from laboratory and field studies, and evaluated with real users with an emphasis on statistical analysis and predictive models. In her research, she examines how technology can be used to address diet-related health problems by integrating health behavior theories and persuasive technological interventions, developing predictive models of behavior uh, behavior determinants and tailoring persuasive technological interventions to increase their relevance and effectiveness. In her first three years of her PhD, Rita has published uh, nine first author papers in reputable international journals and conferences, proceedings, and made four poster presentations. She's been invited to present her work at, the interna at international conferences in this area, and she recently gave an invited talk to uh, the Standing Committee on Health at the House of Commons in Ottawa, specifically on how to use persuasive technology to combat disease and promote good health. Rita is a member of various national and international uh, associations in her area of research. Among them are the Association for Computing Machinery, Inter Institute of Electrical and Electronics uh, Engineering, and the Canadian OBC Network. She has also reviewed articles for key journals and conferences in her research area, including the International Journal of Human Computer Studies, the International Conference on Persuasive Technology, User Modeling and Adapt Adaptation and Personalization Conferences, the British International Conference on Human Computer Interaction, and the International Symposium on Innovation and Sustainability in Education, among others. long time of hard work 
and struggling through several challenges. Honestly, as an international student, as a graduate student, as a woman in the graduate school, and as a woman in the discipline of science and engineering, I face a lot of challenges. But to tell you the truth, there are a few special things, a few secrets that actually helps me and keep me going at each point in time. The two of them are at each point in time when I face those challenges that I feel like, oh, does it actually worth it? Do I, should I continue or should I just quit at this point? I've developed this attitude of looking beyond the barriers, the challenges to seeing the brighter future, seeing the big picture, the future that I desire, something worth working for. That is what keeps me going. And the second, second thing that keeps me going is that, just like we all know, each and every one of us at some point in our life need a little push to get to where we are going. And I had always had special people holding my back, ready to give me the right amount, the right proportion of push I need at each point to get to the top. And these people are so important in our lives. For graduates, I think it's, it's kind of advisable to find this type of people, the people that can look beyond your witnesses to see your talent, to see your, your capabilities. These people are worthwhile, they are worth associating with. I found them at every point in my life. And at this point, I want to recognize those people. In a special way, I want to recognize my supervisors, Professor Julita Vasileva and Professor Regan Mandy. They are they're almost everything to me in Saskatoon. They, they facilitated my coming to this place, and they've been there giving me the right push I need to advance in my career. It's been wonderful. I want to thank them for being my advisor, my mentor, my mother, and a friend. They're a source of inspiration to me. Thank you. In a special way, I want to thank my friends and colleagues, who without them I wouldn't be here today talking, talking, speaking before you. They made it possible by nominating me. I thank you for believing in me, for seeing beyond my weaknesses, to see my capabilities and my strengths. I really appreciate all of you. Thank you all. I want us to extend my special Gratitude to the graduate student executives. In a special way, I want to thank you for putting this up. It's not easy. It takes working day and night. And uh, it's something worthwhile. It makes us feel belonging. It makes us feel appreciated. It tells us to work more, to perform better at each stage of our life. We appreciate every effort you put together to bring this to accomplishment. Thank you. The last but not the least, I want to thank God for my extraordinarily supportive family. I have a family that has been a blessing to me. They are the source of encouragement. They are the pillar in my life. They never see my faults. Even when I cannot find my feet, they tell me you can do it. And the belief they have in me actually stirs me to try doing it at each point. The greatest fear I had in my life is disappointing my family and that had always kept me up. I thank them, though in absence, I know they are here, they are happy. My father, my mother, and my siblings, they are so wonderful. I thank them for what I am today. I owe it up to them. There will be no me without them. Thank you so much. Although my family is not here, but they are well represented. And because of that, I want to recognize in a special way people that have been a family to me in this place. I want to recognize Professor Irabo Idemudie, Professor Ogocha, Professor Odesh, Reverend Father Patrick Ampani, Reverend Father Emmanuel Mba, Mr. and Mrs. Machi and every others. You've been wonderful to me. 
I can't pray for any other family in Saskatoon but you. Thank you for everything. Thank you, the Grad Student Association. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you all. The next award is the uh, GS Gittes Award to Dr. Julita Vasileva.